How to make 2017 the most fulfilling year ever. The new year is here. Holy smokes, that came fast. And I can feel that this is going to be an amazing year. I've just got the good vibes. So how can you set yourself up to ensure that 2017 is your most fulfilling ever? Here are my four steps to make it happen. Number one is to select epic goals for 2017. To have a fulfilling 2017, it's an awesome idea to have an idea of your big plans. So grab a pen and some paper and, or you can use a whiteboard like I did, and brainstorm what you would like to do to make 2017 an awesome year for you. Think about goals for all different areas of your life, including personal, work, health, relationships, spiritual, and lifestyle. To get me started, here are some of my goals for 2017. Host dinner parties, weekly vlog posts on annajohnsonhill.com, dive in the ocean every single week, learn to surf and skate, practice French with friends, go away with Douglas for a short trip every three months, do a Facebook Live once a week, move to a new apartment overlooking the ocean, hold some in-person one-day retreats at my new place, do yoga every week, go on a road trip with some girlfriends, collaborate on YouTube with other awesome people, go to a new country and fortnightly love letters to the work-life balance warrior tribe, that's you. Or if it's not, then it can be you if you just join at tinyurl.com forward slash gift from Anna JH. So number two is to show up consistently because these girls aren't going to achieve themselves. You need to put a bit of oomph into them. Yes, even when you don't feel like it. I usually start off well, lose motivation halfway and then pretend that that goal never existed. It's not going to make for a fulfilling year. This year is going to be awesome. I can feel it. So, we, even though we all have days where we don't feel like it, don't beat yourself up about those. If you fall off the wagon, that's okay, because we all do at some point. But just get back on the next day and then you'll be all good. But by showing up consistently, you'll train yourself to know when it's time to switch on and get things done. Your consistency will be rewarded tenfold. So number three is to say no. Because you won't be able to do everything and please everyone. Committing to your goals means that you'll need to spend a lot of time working on them. At the expense of some of those things that you used to do. So there are things that you may have said yes to in the past, but your priorities have changed. But of course, you can say yes if it is something that furthers one of your goals or if it will make you feel good or you just would really like to do it. But for those times where you wish you could just say no, I know that sometimes it's hard to, it seems like you're being rude, but I have the perfect solution for you because I've created a Say No Nicely resource guide, which you can grab at tinyurl.com forward slash gift from Anna JH, or you can just click through through on the blog post, click through on the blog post. So it's got done for you scripts um, to decline those really awkward questions that will probably end up distracting you from your goals. So things like, can you help me with this thing? Or we haven't seen each other in forever, can, do you want to go on a play date? Or can I pick your brain about this thing? Or do you want to come to this thing with me? You know, all those time consuming questions that you might not want to do. So that's why my tip four is to prioritize. And that's one of the things I've really started doing in 2017 and it's working brilliantly. Brilliantly. I choose three priorities for every day and then I tick a couple of those off each day. And I used to have like 20 things that I wanted to do in a day and it would just get overwhelming. So that's why the magic number is three. Because it's not overwhelming and it's the perfect amount of tasks to get through in the 15 hours that you have. 15 hours for me because I sleep nine hours a night. 
So I set my three priorities the night before using a to-do list. I actually use a to-do list template on Google Sheets. And my three priorities for today, for example, were to film these three blog posts, to send my PhD to proposal to my supervisors, and to complete module one of Alice Nichols' blog to profit course. And sometimes it's tempting to set more than three, I understand, but just remember that when you prioritize, you ensure, like just three things, then you ensure that you're going to feel fulfilled at the end of the day, because you'll be able to tick those three off. And that will make for such a fulfilling year. So, those are my four tips to make 2017 your most fulfilling year ever. So which tip are you going to take action on today? Write your commitment in the comments below because I'd love to hear which one of these resonated with you. And as I mentioned before, don't forget to grab your free Say No, Say no Nicely resource guide because that's going to empower you with the ability to create an epic 2017 free of distractions. So thank you so much for being here. If this video helped you, make sure to like it on um, YouTube and also subscribe. Um, thank you for caring about your own work-life balance and I'll see you in the video next week.